Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. You may be able to hear the extreme pitter patter, that's not even the right words. It is a basically hammering down outside, the weather is atrocious. So quite different from the last vlog that I did with you guys which was absolutely freezing but beautiful. Um, yeah, it's now Christmas week, it is Christmas Eve Eve today and the weather is looking like it's going to be a usual British Christmas which means rain. So uh, yeah, it's pretty pants outside today. However, I am not letting it get to my spirits down because today is my last working day. So I've only got two classes to teach this morning. So I will be done and finished by midday, which is really, really lovely. I've got the girls coming around this evening for a sushi night. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And I have got some bits and pieces to unbox with you. I've been spendy. I really shouldn't have been. I've just bought a new bag and so I should be, you know, holding back and uh, I haven't been. So um, I've bought a few new things so I want to show you those. I've got some jewellery pieces. I have got some perfume from Jo Malone. I've got a jumpsuit, a dress and a cape and I think that is it. Now I'm not planning on keeping it all so I'm going to need your help in the comment section when it comes to it but um, yeah I'm going to show you those and try those on with you later today as well. So yeah really really lovely day planned and then of course tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day so I'm going to bring you guys along um, during this vlog for our whole kind of Christmas up until Christmas Day and night I think. We are hosting people on Boxing Day so I think that's going to be quite challenging to vlog so I think I will just finish it on Christmas day night but um yeah we have got some really lovely plans over the festive period i just wanted to give you an update on betty boo as well bless her it's been a little bit of a challenging week for us because she has had surgery this week so my darling baby girl bless her um she yes so on tuesday we went back to the vets with another urine sample um Getting a urine sample from a dog, I think I said in the last vlog, is quite interesting. However, because it's now, what it would have been, our third time getting a urine sample. I say our, me, because it's been me getting it, because Jamie's always been at work when it's time to get the urine sample, funnily enough. Um, but it's now a game, because she knows that I'm coming out to do it. And on Tuesday, she was literally sprinting round the garden, and I am sprinting after her with this little teeny tiny test tube to try and get a blinking urine sample honestly it was just yeah I got it but um, let's just say it was messy you know it just wasn't my best day wasn't my best day but we took her to the vets with the urine sample and she still had the striad crystals I think they're called striad striad something like that in her urine and blood in her urine as well so they decided it was time to do an x-ray um, the x-ray then showed that she had bladder stones. Poor little puppy dog. So I'm sorry if the rain is really noisy, but there's not much really I can do about it. Um, so she went in on Wednesday then to have the surgery done to remove the stones. And honestly, the stones are huge. Well, when you think about the size of her bladder, and they're like little pea-sized stones, and yeah you think about her bladder size and they're really quite large and it must have been so painful for her but they do think I don't know if I've told you guys this at some point during my vlogging at time I probably have but Betty has got a back issue so one of her vertebra is literally slipped up out of position and it can affect her back leg sometimes and things like that there's not really much that they can do about it surgically um, and it doesn't affect her all the time and it doesn't seem to cause her any pain but this is the thing now is that they think because she didn't appear to be in any discomfort or any pain with the bladder stones is that they actually think that there's a possibility that she has a loss of feeling through her, the lower half of her body and that she just couldn't feel it so which I guess on one hand is nice because she wasn't in pain with it but on the other hand it does mean that we don't know it like know that she's got something wrong with her until quite far into it you know had we known a little bit earlier the stones may have been smaller and we may have been able to avoid surgery and sort of dissolve them with food and things like that but I mean yeah it's fine she's on the mend she's got a lovely big scar down her tummy bless her um but um yeah she's just kind of quite sleepy and quite dopey although to be honest betty is the laziest dog 
on the planet so it's hard to tell the difference um, but she is yeah a little bit dopey and just quite cuddly and I am here for the cuddle so that is fine but she is on the mend bless her so yeah I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you before I go in and teach my classes oh I got my nails done I don't know if it's going to show up nicely. Um, I've gone for the colour Romantique and then we've got some little glitter swirls. Hold on, let me show you it a bit differently. There we go. I'm hoping you can see it a little bit better there. So it's, yeah, the colour is Romantique. So it's like a pinky, nudie colour. My skin is so dry around my fingers at the moment. Um, and then we've got like little kind of glittery swirls going through. And I just love it. So cute and it's so Christmassy. So yeah love it okay i'm gonna head in and teach my classes now guys and i will catch up with you guys when i get home okay i am just back from work i picked up the sushi earlier i will um show you that in a moment it looks absolutely delicious i do want to give the house a quick blitz but before i do that let's get into the bits that i've been buying and show you those and do the try on clips because i'm quite aware that we are going to be losing daylight so let's go in with my jewellery pieces first. So both of these pieces are from Soru Jewellery. It is without a doubt my favourite jewellery brand. Um, if you're not going for expensive, expensive. Um, it's really, really beautiful and it's all gold or gold vermeer. Vermeer, 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 I think it's pronounced. Um, which is good for me because my ears really react. Um, I have to have either gold or gold vermeer in my ears. I've got Betty walking around my feet. Um, but these are the earrings and they are just so cute. I will show you them on. They're quite similar to my pearl ones that I have just bought. It's just not wanting to focus on something so small. I'm hoping that it will um, focus quite nicely. Oh, there you go, with them in. But they've got this beautiful um, heart detail at the bottom and it's that elongated pearl, the same, um, pearl, elongated hoop rather, the same as my pearl ones. And I just think that they are so, so pretty and they will look really lovely on. So those are the earrings. And then I did get a necklace as well. I just love sorrel jewellery. So the necklace is on this beautiful gold chain, which is quite handy because I can change that out for um, other pendants as well. And then we have got this beautiful heart. And honestly, I don't think it's quite coming up on camera how much this shines in the light. It is beautiful. So you've got the pearl in the middle, you've got almost the gold gemstones going around the outside and around the pearl, and then it's kind of mother of pearl in the middle, um, or in the center around the pearl. It's really, really quite spectacular and quite beautiful, and it just, it just shines. It's not quite coming up on camera, but it just shines so beautifully in the light, and um, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. So those are the bits that I picked up from Soru. They had another, um, it was part of their Christmas cracker event. So each day they were doing discounts on different things. So I managed to get them 35% off, which was absolutely wonderful. So, Joe Malone. Now this was not a purchase that I was going to make. As you can see, I actually went in store to buy this. So last weekend, it was my sister's birthday and we went to the Savoy. So we went to the Savoy, we had a, an amazing meal in the River restaurant at the Savoy. It's a Gordon Ramsay restaurant and it was so, so delicious. We had a few cocktails and then we had a walk around Covent Garden. Never ever go into Jo Malone when you've had a couple of cocktails. It is highly dangerous. But I, uh, the, what I have picked up is something that I have wanted for ages, so I don't mind too, too much. I actually saw this first around my birthday, so March, and, um, and I've been wanting it ever since, but I haven't actually taken the plunge until now. So it comes in this beautiful box, as all Jo Malone um, pieces do. And I have picked up a perfume. So it is the Intense Perfume, which if you didn't know with Jo Malone, the ones in the black bottle are Intense Perfume. So you don't need to spray as much and they should stay on a little bit longer. So you don't need to spray as often. Um, oh, I can't get it out. Whereas the ones that are in the clear bottle are just your normal range. But it is Velvet Rose and Oud and oh, just... Oh, it just smells so nice. It's it's feminine, but it's sexy. 
oh, I just love it so nice such a gorgeous scent and I'm so pleased that I have now got that because I'm going to wear that all the time it's just oh it's just lovely it's just smelling my dressing room with all all loveliness all loveliness right let's just pop that away now I this has just arrived this morning before we get onto the clothes and this is a um, handbag organizer from Handbag Angel. So I actually got the side shapers and the base shapers. So this is obviously for my newest baby, my um, medium Lady Dior bag. God, just look at it. It's so, so, so stunning. Oh, am I gonna be able to fit that up there? We can't risk her falling off. There we go. So let's just have a little look at this. I have bought from Handbag Angels before. I've got the inserts in my Chanel Trendy CC bag, but I didn't get the base and the side shapers and I think this is part of the reason why it's lost its shape that Chanel trendy um I love this bag so much but I actually wouldn't buy it again because if you can see how much this has lost its shape along the bottom and along the sides and it just really annoys me because this bag was pricey it was so expensive and i and i love it don't get me wrong i look at it and i'm looking at it now uh, on camera and it is beautiful but for the amount of money that this bag costs and i know it's lambskin and i know the leather is soft and i know all of that but it still infuriates me that this has happened because i just think it's, it's such a lot of money and it should just stay perfect forever okay so yeah but I don't want that to happen. Not that I don't, not that I think it will with the Dior because they are a lot more structured in their leather anyway. I've not had any problems with my mini lady Dior, but I didn't want to risk anything happening to that. So I have got the bag insert and I have got the shapers. So by the shapers, you mean that it means that you get this um, section in the bottom and you've also got it in the side. So it's basically just a bit of a harder bit of fabric and it just means that it will keep its shape. Now I went for this kind of taupey color because I think it's similar to the colour that's already inside the bag and it's just going to keep the bag clean clean and tidy and they've got little sections here that you can slide your phone in or your cards in as well which is really handy and it's just going to protect the inside of the bag so let me pop it in I think I've got the strap in here at the moment yes I will pop that back in because I do just like to keep the straps in the bags and then I've got some tissue paper which I can now remove and we shall slide this in and hope that it just fits in seamlessly she says <laughs> let me take the shaker out and put that in when I've got got it in I think it might be one of those ones that it's actually not particularly easy to get it in but once it is in it just fits yeah there we go it's just fitting seamlessly in then oh perfect 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 and there you go so that is fitting perfectly inside there and it's just going to protect the inside of my beautiful new bag if you are into designer and luxury bags it is such a good idea to get bag inserts because they do just protect the bag and we just need that we need that when we're spending that kind of money on bags we need to make sure they are protected okay clothes now this is the first no no what, what should i show you first now let's go for the jumpsuit first so this jumpsuit i ordered from me and m i love it i think it's absolutely gorgeous jumpsuits don't typically suit me because i've got kind of that pear-shaped figure i find that sometimes they're either kind of quite high up in the crotch which is never a good look or they just make my hips look massive especially if they taper in around the ankle they just don't suit me in general but this is possibly the widest leg jumpsuit that i have ever seen 
in my life um, and it nips in at the waist and it flares out quite nicely so I did think that actually this might be a jumpsuit that I can wear because I always I love the look of them but I just can never find them to suit me it comes with this really nice fabric tie waist belt to be honest I will probably swap it out for my Dior belt or a different belt instead but it does come with that as well and what I really wanted to wear this with is with a shirt underneath so I have got I did order a shirt from me and M actually but unfortunately between the time of me ordering it and it arriving it went out of stock so I wasn't able to get it um, but I have got there we go needs a bit of a steam this old Karen Millen shirt that I have had forever but it's got these really big beautiful puff sleeves and I was just thinking that underneath the jumpsuit that might look quite good so um yeah I'll try it on and um let me know what you think excuse all the blankets on the sofa there but Betty is just snoozing where she's recovering from her surgery and I don't want to move her so just ignore that but this is the jumpsuit on and I'm kind of a little bit in love with it i love it with the shirt underneath i just think it looks absolutely wonderful i just love the whole look i think this would be a great kind of look for workwear as well although i will just wear it as it is because i think it's really really lovely i wasn't sure how flattering it would be on me the jumpsuit but i think it's good i think i really like it it helps that it's such wide legs i mean i really really do not have the figure that can get away with narrow legged jumpsuits. They always need to be really nice and wide legs. It's almost like a dress. Um, but it's so comfortable and I really like it. I love it with the big voluminous sort of shirt sleeves coming out. Of course, I've paired it with my beautiful new Dior bag and I think that just looks absolutely stunning. I really like it actually. I'm really surprised because I really wasn't sure but um, yeah, let me know what you think, but I think it might be a keeper. Oh, I've got my earrings in as well. Let me just show you a close-up of those. The beautiful Sorrow earrings, and I just think they're gorgeous. Okay, next up, I actually popped into Next. And um, I don't normally shop at Next, to be quite honest. Um, I just don't normally find things in there that I particularly like, but I spotted this cape. Now, I have been after a really lovely cape for a very long time, because I just think they are so elegant and so beautiful and so classic. And what I liked about this one is that it is actually pretty much a blazer. You can do the buttons up there. Um, and so it's really smart, but then you have got this beautiful cape aspect to it. And it was only £65, which I also quite liked. You've got really nice gold buttons there as well. So just adding that little bit of extra kind of luxurious feel to it as well. It's really thick in its fabric. And I just... Yeah, I want to wear it over kind of long dresses, over dresses that have got really nice kind of sleeves to them. I've got an Ula Johnson dress that I bought in the summer that I'm thinking that will look really nice with this. So I'll probably try it on with that in a moment. But yeah, over a shirt dress, over anything really. I think a cape looks really nice and it's just so classic, so timeless in its design and just really, really elegant. Now this is a look guys oh my gosh i actually love it so i paired the cape with my ula johnson dress i do think it would look absolutely gorgeous with my age dress as well my new shirt dress i think that would look absolutely glorious as well but i just love having the kind of the ruffles of the sleeves just poking through and it's a way to wear this dress because i bought this back in the summer and it's a way to wear this dress at this time of year as well which is great because i do want to get the wear out of it I've just paired my Dior belt um, with it as well, my Chanel bag and my Dior loafers. And I just love this as a look. It's actually really warm as well. I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to wear this over the festive period at some point as well. So I've got lots of lovely outfits to choose from. But yeah, I love it. Let me know what you think. Right, the last dress I'm going to show you is from Serafina London. And it's this kind of moss green colour and this really beautiful velvet fabric. Just close that so you can't see the mirror. Um, and I just thought this would be a great Christmas Day dress. I love the neckline. I love the kind of split neckline here. And then you have got these beautiful covered buttons with this really nice kind of silky panel going down. 
really nice big puff sleeves and then we have got the cuff detail with again the beautiful covered buttons there as well i really love seraphina london i really feel like it is my style and then the dress is this midi length dress it does come with a tie belt as well so you can do a really beautiful big bow on the belt and i am thinking that this green will look really nice with my new bag what do you think? I think that will just make the bag pop really, really well. I have got to be quite careful of color transfer on that bag because obviously it is a light bag. Now I don't generally wear jeans by nature, but just because you don't wear jeans, it doesn't mean that you won't necessarily get dye transfer onto light bags. So what I do, and I actually saw this on a Sophie Showhead video, um, she got an old blouse. So this is an old, light colored top shop blouse that i have not worn in years and i'm not going to wear to be quite honest i don't like it anymore and i'm just not going to wear it didn't cost an awful lot and yeah she said i've had it for years but what she does is she takes that and then she takes whatever dress that she's wanting to kind of test and rubs it onto the fabric and if the color transfers onto the shirt then it means that the color will transfer onto your handbag or could transfer onto your handbag now generally speaking with dresses that are a little bit higher quality you don't get that so as you can see there is no color transfer maybe a teeny no no none no color transfer onto the blouse. So that does mean that I should be safe wearing this dress. However, I will take other precautions, like I won't wear the bag crossbody if I'm wearing something that is of a dark color. Just to be extra careful, I would just hold it um, with the top handles and not hold it against my body. So just kind of hold it down alongside me and use it that way, just to be a little bit wary. That bag cost a lot of money, so I do want to make sure that I am looking after it but um that's how i do my color transfer test for anybody that wants to know and i did steal that off um sophie showhead she's got loads of great tips if you're not already um subscribed to her then do make sure you subscribe because she's yeah great so yeah i think that is all of it let me know what you think my hair looks a right mess i don't know what's going on with it today i curled it up this morning but it's all kind of bitty and i can't I don't know. I feel like I just need to put a hairband in this evening and that will fix it. But um, right, let's get going. Let's clean the house, get that done. I'm definitely losing daylight. Um, and then I'm going to enjoy my evening with my friends. Okay, and finally, this is the Serafina London dress. It's this beautiful moss green colour. I have, of course, that way around, paired it with my new Lady Dior. And I've also gone for my white boots as well and this is how the dress looks on i'm not sure there is a more perfect christmas day dress it's just so festive in its color it's that beautiful um velvet fabric as well so it's just ideal it's the perfect christmas day dress and it really goes lovely with my bag as well so um yeah i think this one is a win as well which is a challenge actually because i wasn't going to keep it all yeah okay i need your help comment down below what ones you think i should keep although i may wear them before i um post the video but do let me know because i do love your opinions guys but um yeah i love them all okay the house is now looking clean and tidy i just wanted to sh quickly show you my freddie's flowers at this week they are the amaryllis flower week and um I'm looking forward to them coming out into bloom. It will take a few days, but I think they will look absolutely stunning and very, very festive. I've got my wonderful chase and candle lit, so it's smelling very, very festive in here. So I think I'm going to go and get myself ready and wait for the girls to arrive. I've also got some champagne glasses ready, um, some strawberries to pop in the champagne. And then if I just quickly show you the sushi as well i have got some really nice lettuce plates that i'm going to pop these on but this is the sushi that we have got this evening so we've got a spider roll here which has got um crab in it we have got a dynamite roll which has got um king prawns in um i think some chili mayonnaise and things which sounds absolutely delicious we have got uh, tuna maki and avocado maki and then in here Oops, I've got my dressing gown on. I'm all snuggled now. Just had a little snuggle with Betty. 
we have got the best things on the planet now these are our king prawn bao buns and they are delicious so i've got three of those so one for each of us um they are good if you pop them in the microwave for just sort of 20 or 30 seconds they're really delicious as well so this will be dinner this evening okay so i've just plated it up and i think it looks really rather nice on the leaf dishes i've got some soy sauce there and then we've got some wasabi and some pickled ginger i don't think the girls will um have that i know i certainly don't it's a little bit too much for me um but just in case but yeah it'll look great on those plates perfect Okay, I am ready for the girls to arrive now. I've just refreshed my makeup. I've put on a really nice lip colour actually. I've had it for a while, but it is the um, Lancome colour and it is in shade 253 Madame Wazelle. And um, it's a really nice kind of pinky nudie, but it's a little bit darker, so it's quite nice for um, the sort of autumn winter months and for kind of an evening as well. So I'll show you my outfit in a moment. I am just going to do a little extra spritz of my new scent. Oh, it just smells so lush. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much ready for the girls to arrive now. They've just messaged to say they'll be here in about half an hour. I've just fed Betty. I'm going to try and get her to go for a number two before the girls arrive. But um, yeah, ready to enjoy the evening. So I am wearing my Topshop bodysuit, my little pearl necklace that is um, from Soru as well. I've got my pearl Soru earrings in and then I've just got my Amazon tulle skirt. So really nice and kind of relaxed but put together. I wanted to look nice but I also wanted to be comfortable. So that is the outfit of the evening. Yay! morning everyone and happy Christmas Eve. I am just getting myself ready for the day. I had a really really lovely evening last night with my girlfriends. I didn't vlog an awful lot. I'm sorry but we were just too busy having too much fun. Um, we did exchange Christmas gifts so I was thinking about doing a what I got for Christmas video. Um, let me know if that's something that you would like to see. Um, Jamie and I and my family and friends and I, we never buy each other kind of designer things, but it's always really lovely gifts. So I thought maybe that might be quite a nice video. So let me know if you want um, to see that. But today, I think we might actually be heading out for breakfast. I need to double check with Jamie whether he still wants to do that because he went out for a curry last night. So I'm not sure whether he's going to be up for breakfast, but I certainly am because the sushi was wonderful and quite refreshing, actually. It was really rather nice. Um, so we may do that. We want to head to Gwyn's Bakery, which is um, not too far from us, but it is the best bakery around. And we want to pick up some cinnamon rolls for tomorrow morning for breakfast on Christmas Day. So that will be really nice. And then later on this afternoon, we need to at some point watch Miracle on 34th Street because that is hands down the best Christmas mu uh, music, movie rather, on the planet. I love that and we have to watch it really close to Christmas. It's got to be like Christmas Eve kind of situation and so we will watch that at some point as well. Oh, I just love it. It's such a good film. Um, and then later this evening we are heading to my mum and dad. So my sister and the kids will be there. They will be absolutely beside themselves with excitement, I'm sure, but it will be lovely. I saw them last Friday, so it was the day that they broke up from school, and they were mental, guys. Like, the only way that I can describe it was these kids were on crack. Like, they were absolutely just mental. Um, I mean, it was lovely because it was just, they were just so excited, but it was just, it was a lot, okay, it was a lot, but, uh, but anyway, it was good fun. So, yeah, that's kind of what the plan is for today. Um, tomorrow we've got a really nice Christmas day, but maybe I'll tell you about that when we get to it. But I also just wanted to just come on and have a little chat to you guys and tell you how um, grateful I am and how pleased I was with the response to my Dior bag unboxing video. Honestly, you guys are just the nicest people ever. And it was just so nice to 
hear your excitement for me um and it was just it was lovely it was just it was a really really lovely response and i was just so thankful and so grateful for each and every one of you so yeah it just made me feel like oh i love youtube it's really lovely i feel like we're getting a really nice little family together of kind of lovers of all things lovely whether it be luxury or not but just just nice things and just happy vibes you know it's just uh, yeah i feel very very happy and very very grateful for you all at the moment sorry i'm just tapping my powder i'm running low on it i need to make an order um so yeah i just wanted to say thank you guys for a lovely response to my video because obviously i was super excited i mean it's such a special um bag and such a special piece and I was just so thrilled to be able to get it and then I was really p pleased with how thrilled that you guys were for me as well. So it was just all round. I'm a very happy bunny. So I'm going to finish and get myself ready and I will come back to you when I'm looking a little bit more like myself. Okay, makeup is done. I actually used my By Terry VIP palette um, for a little bit more of a festive eye look and I'm really pleased with it. I used um, this shade for the um, crease and the kind of dragging it out to the outer corner of my eye. And then I went for, yes, the sparkly gold for the inner corner and then just drew it out slightly as well. And then on my lips, I have got my Lancome color. Again, it's the same one that I used last night, so 253. I will leave them all linked down below. If this is still available, I'm not sure if it is because it is last year's, but whatever I can, I will leave link down below if you want to shop or have a look at any yourself. Right, let's get dressed. Okay, just showing you my makeup in a little bit more natural light. I'm really pleased with how it has turned out. I'm wearing my beautiful new age dress today. I will just show you a quick full outfit of the day. Okay, it's a little bit difficult because it is backlit, but this is my beautiful age dress. My lovely mummy has um, moved the buttons over on the sleeve, so it's not quite as tight now, thank goodness. But um, yeah, this is the dress on. I've got my Dior loafers on as well, my Chanel bag, and then I'm just going to grab my camel coloured coat. Maybe it'd be better if I show you here, but you just can't get quite the full length here. But um, oh, it's just such a beautiful dress. I love, love, love the little gold button here. It's, um, yeah, I think it's one of my all-time favorite dresses, actually. So we've got lots of toys. I think she, do you think she'd like this, Jay? She loves her elephant, doesn't she, at home? But she can, she can chew off, yeah, but she can chew off the ears and the nose. Yeah, but you've got the reindeer there. So I, I think she'd like that as well. Yeah, I think she'd like that. She'd enjoy that. What else? Is it? Yeah, date. <laughs> oh yeah, six pounds. Is it gonna focus? Six pounds thirty-nine. What else have we got here? So many toys. Oh, there's a little sausage dog. That's cute. Hello guys, it is a few hours since I last spoke to you. We popped into town, we picked up a hot chocolate and then we came back and we drank that and watched Miracle on 34th Street. Well, I say we watched it, we got about three quarters of the way through and then we had to um, get ready to go. So we're gonna finish it off when we get home this evening, but we're gonna head now um, into our old town to visit our family. I think we're gonna see some of Jamie's family and then some of my family as well. So I'm sure the kids will be super excited and be very excited that I'm vlogging as well. They love, love, love to be on camera. So um, I will bring you guys with us and yeah, looking forward to it. Happy Christmas Eve! Yay! <laughs> you, you got all shy? <laughs> <laughs> Look at your pretty dress. <laughs> She's gone all shy. That bit. Post that bit. All right, I'll post that bit. Not, not when I was naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, oh, what are we going upstairs for, kids? To see if Santa's in the garden. Oh, wow. Come on, let's go and have a little look. But we have to keep the um, lights off. So oh, yeah, otherwise can you can't better. see. That's all right. I can still just about see you guys. Oh, man, it's so can dark. you see him? Is he there? Um, Would you like a red? Can you red see a red suit? No? no? Not there yet? No. Not, not quite time yet. Not quite time yet. No. He's coming. He's coming, though. Because you've been so good, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, he's in Tanzania in Africa. Yeah, so he's not, he's not here yet. No, nope, can't see him yet. Oh, beautiful. Right, like Is this your ballet? Yeah, I think. Go for Harry. I like Mommy, your slippers. Mommy, he's really here. Yeah, I've got 
Is she nearly here? Yeah. yeah. I did enjoy it. Oh, Evelyn, right. beautiful. Yeah, Santa. Santa's still in with like four. <laughs> He's been. He's been. Oh, oh we got a nice fire scene on the TV. Merry Christmas. You know what we know? Look, look, look. <laughs> Good morning everyone and happy Christmas. It is Christmas Day, Jamie and I have just spent the um, first part of the morning opening our presents. We had our cinnamon rolls for breakfast and our coffees. I'm sorry about the lighting, it's so dull outside I've put my overhead light on. Let me come in this mirror, maybe this is a little bit better. Oh, it's so bright though. Um, Yes, yeah, so we spent the first part of the morning doing that, which was absolutely lovely. We are now heading over to my parents to spend a little bit of time with the children and with my, obviously, my mum and dad and my sister. Um, and then after that, we are going out for Christmas lunch. So just Jamie and I to our favourite pub down the road from us. So really looking forward to that. And then a nice chill out this afternoon. So I am wearing my new Serafina London dress. I love this dress so much. I mean, it is just the perfect Christmas day dress. It's just festive and wonderful and lovely. I am pairing it with my new deal bag. So this will be her first outing actually outside. I am a little bit nervous, but um, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of thought I shouldn't really have worn a red lip when I'm taking my beautiful new bag out, but I've just got to avoid it going anywhere near my face and we will be fine. Anyway guys, I hope you are all having a wonderful Christmas day as well, but let's head over now to my parents. I really wanted to show you my outfit, so I'll get Jamie to do a quick clip for me. So this is my beautiful Serafina London dress. We've of course got my Dior bag. I've gone for my white boots, white pearl headband and a red lip. Okay, we can go out now. Let's go. Hello guys, we have just got back from a Christmas lunch and it was exquisite. The food was so, so good. So we had a really, really nice day. Um, I didn't vlog much at my mum's earlier. The kids were just excited, playing with their toys and I just thought, you know what, it's just nice to be present and to kind of enjoy that rather than having to vlog. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish it here, I think guys, because I think I've got quite a lot of footage. And I'm so stuffed, to be honest, I really am struggling to breathe right now, so I'm going to put my pyjamas on and we're going to snuggle up on the sofa and watch a film. So I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope you've enjoyed coming along on our Christmas um, trips with us and I will catch you all in the next video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, as always, give it a good old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. <sighs> you in the next video. Take care. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas as well guys and um, yeah comment down below what your favourite present was or something. Uh, Jamie got me a voucher for a hydrofacial so I am very excited about that. I've been wanting to try a hydrofacial for so long um, so I'm looking forward to um, doing that at some point in the new year as well but um, let me know what you guys got and let me know what you guys got up to over the festive period as well so I'd love to hear what you guys did so um, yeah I will see you all in the next one. Bye!